So hopefully everyone can hear us today, and hopefully we can hear them because we have more electives for you today. That's right. So we're hopefully going to send it down to Colin Wunsch, and he is down in the music department. What's up, Colin? Yes, I am down here with Mrs. Drenchko, Mr. Howe, and Mrs. Johnson. They're going to talk to us about some of the music electives. Good morning. Um, I am part of three music electives. I have applied music. I do concert choir. Um, concert choir does two concerts each year, one at the holiday time and then a pops concert in the spring. Um, and that's really fun. We sing every morning. We do warm ups and um, whatever repertoire I choose. And then in the spring, I have music appreciation. That's what I'm teaching now. And that's like music history class. Um, we go all the way back to the medieval time periods and work straight through the 2000s. And then in the fall, I have music theory, which is kind of like the math of music, where we talk about scales and chords and how um, all of the little details of music come together to make a composition. And that's what I do. All right. Very cool. Mr. Hal? I have two classes that I teach, um, band, which is part of the applied music course, and also um, percussion ensemble, which meets period two in the fall, which is for um, anybody that plays an instrument or doesn't play an instrument, you can come in and play a percussion ensemble. Also, of course, the marching band, uh, which is something that is extracurricular, but anybody can be in it, whether you're in band or not. It's, uh, it's a great place to, to join, mm -hmm. get together with your friends all summer and fall. It's a good, it's a good time. So those are the three things that I have. All right, cool. And lastly, Mrs. Johnson. Hi, I teach orchestra, and we do three to four concerts a year. We bring in guest artists. We do Rock in the Strings, which is a big pops concert every year. And so if you play a string instrument, feel free to join. All right, very cool. That's all I have from down here. Now we're going to send to Devin, who's with Mr. Yuri. All right, thank you, Fatu. Now I'm down here in Mr. Yuri's room. He's going to tell us about the electives he has to offer. Hey, how you doing? It's never too late to change your schedule, right? Uh, I teach drafting and robotics, um, so if you're interested in taking either class, you can take Intro to Drafting or Intro to Robotics to start. In the uh, Intro to Robotics class, we'll start with that one. We do uh, little robot cars if you want to come around. So these are our robotic cars that we use. Uh, we do different programs to uh, make them do different maneuvers throughout the course. Um, there's all kinds of different sensors, push buttons, LEDs. Uh, it's a nine-week class. If you're interested in that, sign up for Intro to Robotics. So the intro to drafting class that we do, uh, you'll do uh, mechanical hand drawings to start, and then they'll go over to CAD on the computers and use the computer software to do 3D modeling, uh, floor plans, and different types of parts. Uh, they'll also do uh, two design challenges in that class where they'll have to make a toothpick tower and hold a bowling ball. Uh, that's up on the top there if you take a look at that. So they got to hold that bowling ball, which weighs 12 pounds. they got to hold that for 15 seconds. And then they'll also do another project in that class where they have to uh, hold um, 150 pounds uh, using 10 manila folders, which that can get challenging as well. So after that class, that's again, that's the intro to drafting. After that, you can sign up for CAD. And then after that, uh, which is nine weeks, you can go into two semester classes, which is architectural civil engineering or mechanical engineering design. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, here that make some robot cars, do some toothpick towers. Now we're going to take it to Fatu. Thanks, Devin. I'm down here with Mrs. Kling, and she's going to be telling us about her business elective. So what's going on? Well, we have Accounting 1, which is a one-credit course. Accounting is essential in every business or organization. By the end of the course, you'll understand how to keep accurate records of sole proprietorships. We also have Accounting 2, which is an extension of the, uh, the principles and practices of Accounting 1, and we'll extend those studies into partnerships and corporations. We then have business law, which teaches legal rights and responsibilities of pers personal and business law, like contracts and warranties. We then have the intro to business and finance. This is designed to give you a taste of what to expect when living on your own. Things like budgeting, taxes, and other things in today's workforce. We then have marketing. It's a one credit course. It's an introductory course of the four P's of marketing, like distribution and pricing of products done through projects and various other activities. We also have SAT prep. This is a half credit course offering opportunities to prepare the very stressful and important tests of SAT and ACT. 
And then we have the last one half credit course, which is offering students with an interest in pursuing career in sports, hospitality, management, business, or related fields. You will learn event planning such as weddings, races, and other major events. <clears throat> All right. If you're interested in any of those courses, make sure to sign up. And now Mr. Weikert is going to hop in here and tell us about his computer electives. So what's going on? Well, Fatu, we have the choice to take Microsoft Office as a course. 89% of businesses are still using Microsoft Office, and a lot of the colleges that you're going to go to require that as a required freshman course. So we have Microsoft Office for uh, half credit here for high school. We also have college credit available through Harrisburg Area Community College. You take the course here, but you get a credit, a full credit for a semester course for your Northeastern transcript, and you also get three hat credits. We also have uh, multimedia, which is video production, web design, animation, and audio editing. That's a one credit course you can take. You can also take news media production, a course that you're in and that you've taken if you want to be part of the morning news and learn about uh, a little bit more about journalism. We also have computer science studies here. We've got AP Computer Science Principles and AP Computer Science and the details on that in the course selection book because I know we're running out of time. And we also have computer repair. If you want to build a computer, fix a computer, know everything there is to know about computers, we've got that course. And we've got a certification that you get to take with that course as well. So I know we're out of time. So those are some of the computer electives. All right. If you're interested in any of those courses, business or computer electives, make sure to sign up. Back to you guys.